Hello everybody. I hope you got a chance to relax on this last long weekend and that you're also having a chance to enjoy the spectacular weather that we're having. With spring in full bloom, I'm really missing the gardens at Royal Roads University. But I know that the gardeners and the groundskeepers are working really hard to make sure that they look spectacular so that we can enjoy them when we return. This week I wanted to provide you with a few updates. First, I wanted to thank IT, customer services, and also the operations teams for the great work they've been doing in providing people with access to computer equipment, to office equipment, and to furniture. There have been over 450 requests, and I know that they've followed up on 150 to date. So please be patient. I know that they're working in priority order. Second, I would ask any of you who are coming onto campus for any reason to sign in and out of the buildings that are open. This is really important so that security can keep track of activity, but also so that our custodians can target areas to clean. Both of these teams are doing a really good job at keeping us all safe. And third, given that it is our commitment to keep as many people as possible employed through this emergency, we have put in place a process to redeploy people whose work has been disrupted to work on other priority projects. Human Resources is providing line managers with details on this process. And if you have questions, please talk to your supervisors. It is becoming clear that the current level of restrictions is going to be in place for at least another few weeks. And I'm also assuming that some level of restriction is going to be in place for the months ahead and probably to the end of the year. For this reason, I'm working hard with the senior leadership team and with faculty to develop some likely scenarios that we can use to inform our planning in the year ahead. And I'll be giving you more details about this uh, next week and in the weeks that follow. For now, it's really important that we continue to follow the advice and the direction of Dr. Bonnie Henry in order to continue to flatten the curve of COVID-19 transmission. Now, on another note, I thought I would share with you some of the reading that I've been doing over these last few weeks. First book I'd like to talk about is Yuval Harari's book, 21 Lessons for the 21st Century. This is a gripping, if sobering, account of the challenges that we are all facing right now, whether it be the climate crisis, economic and technological disruption, inequality, conflict, terrorism, fake news. He covers it all. But he's also optimistic and he's hopeful. And the book is a call for us to build resilience in order to confront these challenges. Another book that I've been rereading is Patti Smith's book called Just Kids. Patti Smith is the uh, famous musician and artist, and this is the story of her life with the photographer Robert Maplethorpe in New York City in the late 1960s and the 1970s. And in it, she brilliantly evokes that time and that place, that collision and explosion of art and poetry and music and politics. And it's an incredibly poignant thing to read right now, given what's happening in New York City. And on a lighter and more fun note, there's this book, Stone Me, The Wit and Wisdom of Keith Richards. Keith Richards, of course, is the famous Rolling Stones guitarist. And this is a collection of his sayings and aphorisms. And in it, he covers everything from the Rolling Stones to his relationship with Mick Jagger, to sex, drugs, and rock and roll, of course, and life itself. And it's just a fun read to take your mind off of what's going on right now. So on that note, take care, stay safe, and have a great weekend.